Welcome back to the Rideau Valley Motorsports Shop. Today we're going to be talking about the carburetor that we rebuilt for the racing mower. So uh, you might remember back to the last video, I think it was, uh, when we first pulled the carb off, that it was uh, in pretty rough shape. It was caked in filth, the throttle was stuck wide open, and the choke was nearly stuck shut. And then once we cracked into it and took a look, turns out the bowl was a mess too, with a float stuck to the bottom. We started by disassembling the carb. We removed the high speed mixture screw first, and then the bowl. We tried to remove the float, but the pin was stuck in there pretty good. Next we removed the idle mixture screw and uh, we were cleaning the carb as we went along, kind of trying to make it a little easier. Then it was time to remove the emulsion tube, followed by more cleaning. We got the seals and gasket off, as well as a few remnants of the linkage. Then, we tossed it in the vat. After a good silk, it was time to get cleaning. An old toothbrush and a hook and pick set were used to get the carb fresh and clean. Once everything was clean, it was time to rebuild. Well, maybe one more try at that job. With a box of parts, we just started replacing old with new. There really aren't a whole lot of parts to this carburetor, so if you stay organized during your teardown, it should just be a matter of replacing anything you've already taken off with something new from the box. While you're putting new parts on, you want to make sure not to really horse these down too hard. You don't need to use a lot of force. You don't want to break anything. So, some of the things we did to it, we put in new mixture screws, and a new emulsion tube. We also replaced all the gaskets and the seals, and then we soaked it, well, I guess before we did all that, we soaked it and gave it a good cleaning, get all the junk out of there. So there were a few parts that we weren't able to get off. Um, the float pin was stuck and also I guess it's the jet underneath the emulsion tube inside the bowl was stuck as well so we made the decision that rather than you know maybe potentially destroying these parts trying to get them out that we just leave them in and uh, give them a good cleaning and get them as nice looking as we could so what you see here is about as close as this little Briggs and Stratton engine is ever going to get to having a new carburetor on it uh, hopefully we'll be able to dial in a good idle and get it running just right and yeah, get a few laps around the racetrack in it. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, share and like. And we'll see you next time here in the Rideau Valley Motorsports Shop.